Hey guys, Joe Pye here from Advanced Innovations in Austin, Texas. You know, if you're into any type of fabrication, the uh, technology that is unavoidable is 3D printing. And it has definitely evolved and continues to evolve with its approach in materials and capabilities. Well, right behind me, this entire area behind me is actually populated with giant 3D printers that are building houses, believe it or not. And it's dispensing concrete at uh, pretty consistent levels. So let me flip the camera around here, zoom in, and we'll show you what's going on. This printer is laying down approximately a three-quarter inch thick, four inch wide layer of concrete continuously. And you can see the progress of the houses to the right of it. This entire neighborhood is going to be 3D printed. Now they print just the walls and the inner walls and the structures. When it comes to a header, they'll stop and put a piece of steel across to it and allow the printer to continue across that. But there are no foremans available that I can talk to right now. But you would think that the weight of the upper levels would crush the lower levels if it wasn't cured, but I can assure you that's not the case. Well, there's a couple of model homes. Let's go inside one of these things and see what it looks like on the inside. This is truly amazing. They say everything is bigger in Texas, and here's proof. Truly incredible. A little closer look at what's going on here. They have a perimeter of stone set up. It's got the track all leveled out, and I'm sure everything is calibrated, zeroed and as level as it can be. And this house is in process. It's about an eight foot wall. I think when they're done, it's a 10 foot inside. And I am not supposed to be standing here and it won't be surprised if I get escorted off the property. Anyway, all right, let's go take a look at one on the inside, close up. It is clear to see that this was put down layer by layer. I don't know how many layers there are here. And the top is finished off with trusses and wood construction. It all starts off on a slab. Absolutely incredible. I would have to say this is probably a planter. Very modern interior. Everything is nice and rounded off. And I can't get uh, high enough to look down inside these, but a lot of this is double wall construction like this. And there's blown foam insulation inside of it, so it is very thermally efficient. And from what I understand, you can do this in 48 hours. Don't know how true that is, but that's what I was told. An entire neighborhood. 3D printed houses. How wild is that? Anyway, just a little off the subject, subject matter for the channel. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, well, I got brave enough to actually go inside one of these things. Let's take a look at the finished printed house. How cool is this? It actually looks like rope. That is concrete. That is pretty cool, huh? Unbelievable. Fully automatic house. How neat is that? Good size rooms too, it's about 14 by 12. Here is it going. That's a big closet. Nice bathroom. Ten foot ceilings. 